answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. So now we're about to get into the three rappers that disappeared. They've been talking about these three rappers that disappeared, and it's been about 12 days since they have seen Armin Kelly, Montana Givens, and Dante Wicker. Now a Facebook Live video conversation has surfaced with Kelly and is seen talking with three men about coming to Detroit only two days before he went missing. I think it has to do with the video, said Lori Kemp. Kemp said at the point the men can be seen arguing about something, Kelly said recently online. On that video, Kelly mentioned he was going to pick up Jug before heading to Detroit to meet up with the masked man in the video. You're gonna get you're gonna you're gonna pick up Jug? Yeah, Kelly answered. The, I'm trying to I'm trying to pull up, Kelly added. Jug is the nickname for Montana Givens who also went missing the night of January 21st. The family of Givens, as well as Dante Walker, filed a missing person report. Once, uh, once our story aired, the family realized their loved ones may have been with Kelly the night the three went missing. During a news conference on Tuesday, Chief James White with Detroit Police Department said, the fact of the case has been un." usual okay and what concerning is that all three men's cell phone was turned off around the same time that night of the 21st going into the early morning hours of the 22nd chief whitehead said currently destroyed detroit warren Ascondo warren and medela police departments are investigating Kemp said although her son phone was turned off the night he went missing she was able to track his vehicle with OnStar, the three locations in Warren in the days following his disappointment. Oh my God. So somebody had his car. His vehicle was discovered by Warren police and is now being processed for evidence. Meanwhile, Kemp also, despite threats online, she is determined to find out exactly what happened to her son. Why are they threatening the lady? Wow. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible situation. People are saying I am poking the bear. I don't care. I will poke the bear until I find out what happened to my son, Kemp said. Police have not confirmed whether or not the video is in any way connected to the three men disappearance. However, they say that they are aware of it and are monitoring several social media accounts. So this was actually um, three days ago, and uh, we're going to get an update, which was to the next day where they actually found the three young men unalive. So we're going to watch that video together. Very, very, very disappointing. On this story all evening long, he's live now with the latest details, Dave. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and a bit of an exclusive detail here. Right before our 10 o'clock report, a man came up to us and said he is the brother of one of those three men, and he said that the concert that they were supposed to play that was set up for them was actually a setup and was targeting one of those individuals. They say that concert was canceled hours before the reports of them going missing. Wow. So police haven't been able to confirm that yet. We are checking with Detroit Homicide. They are looking into it. We'll let you know what they tell us. Meantime, Michigan State Police, they're working this scene, and they say the progress has been slow getting into this building because of rats and infestation of rats and other very treacherous conditions. Michigan State Police, Detroit Police, and other law enforcement support teams working into Thursday's evening hours investigating this at least partially abandoned apartment complex at McNichols and Rosa Parks in Highland Park where three bodies were discovered. 
Fox 2 sources believe it's the bodies of rappers missing since a Detroit concert they were set to play got scrapped almost two weeks ago. State police said members of the Homicide Task Force, Metro South Post, and MSP Forensic Lab were combing through the scene with search warrants being obtained. 38-year-old Armani Kelly, 31-year-old Montoya Givens, and Dante Wicker, 31, were slated to perform at Lounge 31 on Seven Mile near Gratiot on January 21st. However, the event was canceled after organizers could not reach them on their phones. Fox 2 talked with Armani's mother the other day about her own efforts to find her son. Somebody knows something. Mm -hmm. Somebody will speak. I don't know when, I don't know where, but it will come out. We were able to pull phone data and see that there's no activity on any of their phones. They're not hitting any towers. The mother of one of the victims the next day made a report of, of the missing person. That mother became very proactive in the investigation and started searching for her vehicle through OnStar. Within days, the car Armani drove from Ascoda to the Detroit area was discovered in Warren. That's when news reports prompted the families and friends of the missing three to ask questions. On January 27th, Information is aired through media on that individual, Mr. Kelly, uh, and him being missing. And once that happens, other family members of the, the other missings come to realize that that's a friend of their loved ones, and they haven't seen, seen them either. So then they both get reported missing. This well, is terrible. Detroit police looking into a tip that actually we passed along to them after a man came up to us. He talked to police here first and then talked to us and said he's the brother of one of those three men and that that concert was a setup targeting one of the three and that it was canceled hours before they ended up going missing. So a lot of uh, a new detail that police are sorting through as multiple police departments work this case. For now, we're live in Highland Park. Dave Kinchin on the edge. And Dave, we this is to understand that the vehicle that was located in Warren belonging to Armani was moved a few times before it was eventually located. And you told us in earlier reports, a 15 year old who was driving it has now been brought into custody. Uh, police likely be able to get some information from him. That boy going to yeah, that's right. Put the pressure on him. Picking up that 15-year-old, uh, taking the 15-year-old into custody. Let's see uh, how Commissioner tough. Dwyer, uh, not saying a whole lot about the case. Uh, there is a report uh, actually out there from Warren Police saying that uh, there was no blood or anything in that vehicle that would indicate that uh, any of the homicides took place in the vehicle or that the vehicle might have been used for transport uh, after uh, the homicide mm. had taken place. But again, all of this still under investigation, no doubt. Yeah. Okay, so the bodies are still missing. The boys are still missing. They can, they're considering their bodies, and that is so ridiculous. I feel so bad for them because at the end of the day, it does seem like it was a setup. So we're going to keep our, our eyes on this, keep you guys up to date. I wonder what ties they had or if they had any type of insurance money related to them so this is ridiculous would you like to learn okay. a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition what if i told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20 percent return on your investment tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door no credit and no loans needed this method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now put together a 14-hour info-packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step, -step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.